In this video, we're going to discuss what the debits and credits are when you enter a bill for inventory, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead in here and click on enter bills. I'm gonna choose one of my vendors here. Let's say Vega Lighting, all right? Now I'm not wanting to do any expenses on this side, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this line item by pushing Control Delete. Okay, so I want to make sure that we're picking up some inventory parts here. So we have some brass hinges, those are inventory parts. And we're going to say the quantity is 10 and the cost is $10 each, so we have $100. And then also um, we can do additional inventory parts, but just to keep this simple, I'm going to do a control delete on this line because I really want to focus on the postings that happen every time post a bill to an inventory item. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. Then I go up here and click on the journal button. When you click on that button, it's going to show you what happens when you purchase inventory. So accounts payable goes up by $100. That's how much the bill is. And then the inventory asset for that item, for the brass hinges, goes up by $100 as well. So just those two postings happen when you purchase inventory. You'll see your accounts payable go up on your balance sheet and your inventory asset go up on your balance sheet as well. It does not have any impact on your profit and loss at this point. When the expense hits the profit and loss is when you sell the item. So the sale and the expense will hit the profit and loss when you sell the item. And you can see that information in our other video about debits and credits when you have inventory on an invoice.